Welcome guys to another analysis video channel. So today we're, we're gonna talk about Santana. Um, who we're gonna talk about? <laughs> Santana, Oram, Roberto, Levin and Mueller. Levin and Mueller, Mueller are the characters that just got hidden ability updates. So we're gonna leave them for the end. First, let's talk about Santana. Before we start, please consider pressing that like button if you like the analysis. It already it just started, so but you know, do it. And you know, press that subscribe button. It's it's gonna help the channel out. So Santana comes with a team skill that gives everyone 23% if you use five or more toughness type club players. A defender and goalkeeper killer is a passive, so his stats rise by 25% for defenders and goalkeepers. Okay, special skills are rising arrow, rolling overhead kick, or should I say rising whatever with 490 momentum, that's his best overhead. And it's cheap, 405 for a shoot, that's nice. Natana turn, 440. Uh, and uh, new Brazil football 405. Hidden skills are bond with two or more toughness type club players that gives everyone 4.5% high ball request. So 80% of the time he's gonna get a high ball. Uh, will I say 8% because I don't know if that's even working. Dribble range and hand successful dribble range times three. So after a successful dribble, he will cover three times more distance than what the usual characters without that uh, skill do, you know? Uh, special skill blocks, so he will block one tackle special skill of your matchup opponent 60% of the time. So basically never. And special skill force high flying shoot. So uh, his force on the high flying shoot will be 15% stronger, making it his most powerful shoot. Which is nice. Uh, all in all, when you look at this Santana, he's a he's he's a killer. Like and the only thing that matters now is will his numbers be okay? And yeah, they will. So when we look at his raw numbers, so against everyone else but defenders and goalkeepers, he's nice. 61 dribble, 58 pass. 61 1 2 54 tackle and 52 intercept which is not bad at all i mean for a forward we have seen like uh nukers that have m much less than that so they worked in the meta so i don't see this santana not be there uh the only thing i wanted to to, to mention but th this guy is a toughness type so basically you know another one toughness type santana i don't know I know why like at some moment club just goes ballistics crazy and just spams the same color same characters for like three four times you know what what is the purpose like we like i believe like last three santanas are like toughness i don't know what the hell is going on man. he should have been agility he should have been agility that's it uh so we have uh nice <laughs> against defenders and goalkeepers uh, it's 76.8 dribble, that's one of the best dribblers. 73 pass, that's a great pass. 76 1 2, which is absolutely ridiculously good. Uh, 67.9 uh, tackle and 65 intercept, which is really, really dangerous. And we have all around good shots with, I mean, this is a good shot, 79. Nothing special, right? But he has a nook on his legs with 88.4 and has a nook on his header with 91.4 so uh really really nice as a constant power on the shot and we see that his shots uh that rising arrow you know what the downside of the rising arrow rolling overhead kick is that it doesn't have blowaways blowaways by my like there is no calculation for it you know there is no like uh sure way of telling how much blow is actually add the chance of scoring but in my experience long time superstar 4 experience couple of years actually on the ground shoot he is more powerful than on his overhead just because of 
the blowaways. So if you have, I mean, of course, if you have a good position and if you are shooting against the goalkeeper that has a ground shoot killer, of course, this is going to be stronger, much stronger. But if the goalkeeper doesn't have that ground shoot killer trait or something else, you just go with the ground shoot. Uh, basically, yeah, I mean, uh, this guy looks absolutely ridiculous. As a gacha, what did you say? A gacha, regular gacha character, I mean, is fantastic. Great bonds, uh, great hidden abilities. Dribbler, I mean, he's just. Like if you even if you go with one two or dribble, he will cover the same distance. So what, what, you 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 find yourself in situations against a defender that you basically say, "Oh my God! If I go with one two, I will jump over that last defender. I'm gonna be in the box." So you can do that even with dribble with this character. So that gives a huge amount of value that dribble range hands to the forwards, especially because. You know, you can just, you know, uh, mark your character with with a defensive midfielder or someone that he can easily get over with attacking midfielder, whatever. Whoever is at the end of the box or something and just easily go over them and jump over the last uh, line of defense. That's how good that is. I mean, three times is not nothing like special you know he will not be a counter character that can uh, just kill everyone like someone with five six tsubasa has uh, six right uh, distance uh, range and hand so three times it's gonna be enough to actually give you that uh, double choice of actually going with dribble and one two and cover that distance over the line of the defense so this guy is excellent i love him nice uh, the only downside is his volley. Uh, I mean, uh, on some analyzers, you will see that the numbers uh, for a volley are actually around the same as the number over down shoot and overhead. And that is not true because, uh, uh, you know, of the last, uh, like, as, as soon as we saw the numbers that actually generate high ball bonus and low ball bonus we actually saw that uh, uh given when someone has a low good low ball good parameters he actually only for the final calculation everything you need to do is add 12.5 to the momentum and you will get the calculation for his so it's not even the close as powerful as we thought that's why you know uh, margus didn't uh do very well you know when you expect him to score on anyone because he should have uh but uh he didn't because it was a miscalculation uh but uh you know it still gives him like a minor bump it's 80 79 you know what if you get a wall you just prep and go with the ground shot or try with a header if that goalie is a uh, uh, ground shoot killer so basically you know all in all really nice not bad uh i mean he will not get a low ball so often so uh even if he is matched up with a defender and you get a low ball there's a high chance you can actually just bully him with a pass because 73 uh, uh pass and on and on a low ball he will actually get that bonus on a pass too so it's gonna be 467.5 it's gonna be 75k pass on a low ball if you don't get a high ball and you're a matched up you're matched up with a defender so you don't have to be like worried oh my god i need to give him a volley no you don't give him an overhead ground shoot to metal phantom uh you know you can maybe give him a secondary shoot because he doesn't have a skill block but uh, don't don't bother with that <laughs> just shoot out of the matchups and that's it oh you can shoot any matchups there's uh not a high chance actually they will block exactly or shoot so let's talk about toram now the bully <laughs> uh where's that where's that uh, meme i made a couple of years ago oh there it is <laughs> Okay, uh, so Toram comes with team skill that gives everyone 23% uh, if you use 5 or more toughness type club players. And he's a forward killer, so against forwards 
his stats rise by 20%. Special skills are Ace Killer Block with 90, Ace Killer Intercept with 65. That's his two of the stronger skill he skills he has and long legged tackle with four of five which sucks but it's nice because he doesn't have skill block cancel so you can actually give him knockdown tackle on top of that too strong pass a whatever akin skills are bond with two or more toughness type club players that gives everyone four percent he shields your team with four percent which is excellent attacking midfielder killer so he starts rise by 12 percent versus attacking midfielders he's a short killer non-flying uh, with 15 percent bonus uh, he's a huge killer seven percent so you know this guy has a lot of uh, a lot of different things he's good at so uh let's see by his raw numbers i mean obviously this is a, a limit break you know what I would do, uh, but you know, just lim just boundary break him to four and <laughs> do everything. Uh, and basically, when you look at this guy, like uh, raw numbers without any bonuses, he's great. I mean, when you like, he's one of those characters that has huge bonuses all around, but usually those guys have like not so good numbers, like on the side, but yeah, he. I mean, even against defensive midfielders, if you guess the right thing with tackle intercept, you will get the ball, like, most of the time, probably. <laughs> so, uh, basically, as a defender, his passive will always be active. He will be matched up only with attacking midfielders and forwards, so it doesn't actually matter. So, we could actually call this his raw power, you know, this two, because, you know, look at that. He's 73.5k tackle, which is great, 70. Uh, 0.9 71k interceptor which is great and 75 blocker which is not the best but still if you guess the right action especially against uh, ground shoots in the ball uh, we have forward killer so uh, he's a 49 dribbler and a passer 78.8k tackler 76 interceptor and 80 blocker which is a good we have a Hyuga killer, so against Hyuga he is an absolute murderer, uh, especially being a toughness type and Hyuga is skill type, so he does have on top of everything he does against Hyuga, he has a color advantage also, so he's just gonna be a, a complete other murderer. Uh, um, one minor thing that everyone like forgets about Ram, he's good in both high and low balls, which basically whatever the card he has, this only this makes him one of the best defenders because he does get that boost on momentum here and here so uh here and here uh so yeah i mean uh i mean just by looking at this i, I didn't even calculate like shoot killer non-flying so i'm just gonna do that right now so yeah this is it <laughs> i mean look at this like ground shoot killer like, whenever your opponent shoots, his stats will rise to that numbers, even if you go with a tackle or inter. So, uh, there is a high chance you're gonna be bullying guys that decide to shoot against this guy, especially forwards or Hyuga. If Hyuga goes with a shoot against this guy, you know... I mean, Hyuga does have a block killer, but it's whatever. This guy will just easily eat that shoot for dinner you know uh just like ishizaki does ishizaki has this power on a block full stamina so you know what ishizaki does to Hyuga. this guy will be even better on that because he's all around much stronger so we have uh, like a complete another like Hyuga murderer with 93.2 like even if Hyuga shoots he has a high chance of actually bullying him with tackle or intercept like any forward will be in <laughs> like, I mean, look at this, man. Like, 86k is the power of, uh, you know, the Dreamfest Misugi, the invisible jerk Sugi. I mean, this guy will, and, and you know that he bullies, like, a lot of guys with his block. So this guy will bully, like, if 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 any forward decide to go with the shot, especially a skill type, he's gonna be outright bullied like a with 88 or 85 i mean of course block will just whatever block everything uh we have uh you know against attacking midfielders around the same 
uh, uh, of course, you know, if you guess the right direction, the ball is yours. 100%. So, you know, he's not actually only a ground shoot killer, you know, because because he actually does have a bonus against uh, high 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 balls and low balls. So, uh, I'm going to just, you know, add that to this. So let me just return this numbers previous state. So, I I'll actually like uh, I I'm, I'm going to add that momentum only on the block and intercept because those skills you can use there uh, so you can attack it low at high ball so it's 502.5 and it's uh, 477.5 so basically uh, I, against forwards like yeah 82 should work like a lot like most of the time uh, every every single time, <laughs> 78 intercept. Yeah, sure, of course he's gonna intercept everything if they decide to pass on a high low ball. Uh, attacking midfielders, I kind of kind of same thing, but you know uh, there are some nukers of attacking midfielders that might go over him and that, you know, whatever because you know that's gonna be. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna be easy. You know he's gonna block a lot of shots too, especially like I said, if their toughness or skill. Type. Agility might, agility attacking midfielder might go over him here, but you know, those are rare. So we have Hyuga Killer. You can see that he's gonna, he's just gonna eat Hyuga for dinner. I mean, really, whatever Hyuga does, this guy is just gonna put him in his pocket. And that's why that, you know, uh, meme is a special meaning <laughs> here too, because yeah, uh, this guy is excellent, man. And being a gacha, I mean, can I say one of the best defenders in the game one thing that like he he gives a lot to the team just by shielding your team but as by being like like the only the only thing as a central defender he misses is uh, you know uh auto intercept but you can use him there in a in a four defender line with with an auto interceptor up there so you can even use him alone there I mean uh, you know, even before, like everyone tried to use, everyone go, went with auto interceptors and auto blockers in the middle. Like that, that is a that is a inconvenience. But if you actually use a uh, like formation with two defensive midfielders with two auto interceptors, I mean they can compensate for that. You know, and basically cover that part of the field. Good. So that's what we use before. All the defenders got auto intercepts and stuff, and it you and it worked pretty well. So uh, he is a great side defender, great central defender. He can be used all over the place because, like I said, his passes will mostly be active. Uh, this is a great defender, one of the best in the game. Let's go with Roberto now. Roberto comes with team skill that gives everyone 23% if you use five or more agility type club players and he's an inside master so he starts to rise 25 25% if you guess the right action like everyone knows I have a fetish of inside master characters because you know they they actually you know um, they help you you know if you are actually a player that 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 strategizes that doesn't you know uh only look uh, if i cannot bully everyone with a character with a dribble one two shoot intercept block he sucks you know if a forward cannot intercept or tackle everyone he sucks <laughs> he's he you know he's whatever but uh, yeah you saw what a joke that analysis is or that other guy you know when you see hyuga just running around the whole meta just absolutely murdering everyone and if you limit broke Hyuga, you could see that he will actually intercept the tackle most of the guys there. But you just need to him there, and that's what I said. But uh, yeah, uh, we have that's why you need uh, PvP experience to actually do some analysis in this game. So we have Roberto that looks absolutely ridiculously great. Uh, special skills are Roberto style rotating intercept or Roberto whatever intercept with force. 60 yeah okay true skyming shoot before 90 
that's not his most powerful shot but okay and the south american dribble with 420 in skills are bond with two or more agility type club players that gives everyone 4.5 percent he has a 100 percent auto inter has auto intercept hands which is one of the most valuable uh, uh skills to have you know because he's just gonna be so freaking annoying man just remember natureza at that position natureza Super even fast Natureza was attacking mid for is attacking mid for in the forward and you know what he does to the people. This guy will mostly do the same thing. We have a stamina cost down, so he'll require 20% less stamina when using a special skill. On top of that, he has 1200 stamina, which means he will never be trained. I mean Full power gauge up, so full power gauge 12% when you win in a matchup, which is absolutely great. And he's a goalkeeper killer, so he has 25% bonus against goalkeeper. So basically, if his passive activates, he's gonna be like 25% all over. That's why on the right side, their passive active numbers up there is like 25% all over. So uh, we have. <clears throat> We have a character that looks really nice, like is every Insight Master character will combine the talk like uh, when he, his passive doesn't activate and when he activates. So good Dribbler 58, excellent 73 with Insight Master, good passer 59 and an excellent 174 with Insight Master. Basically what I want to say here, these guys with Insight Master will almost never get bullied just because, you know, that stacks up on top of team skills bonds and everything. so 25 percent is huge huge this is uh, this is great man so if he guesses the right thing with tackling intercept most of the time the best he has you know he's just gonna be that that annoying guy you try to run away from when you go match up with you know especially like of course a skill blockers will uh, will go in the matchup with him because he doesn't have skill block cancel uh, but uh, still you know uh, everyone else is gonna be f oh, because this guy can stop everyone um, I mean obviously this is a limit break I would do because you know I would use him as uh, you know maybe winger because he has an easy one to uh, Tsubasa Tsubasa is one of the staples in any team so that's awesome as a winger with one to the perfect uh, but you can use him in the middle especially because of this auto interest in the hand so he's he, he picks a punch to his ground shoot with the shoot of the dream collection uh, roberto so uh, this roberto is actually really nice at 88.4 constant power against uh, goalkeepers his volley and overhead is kind of underwhelming with 85 but still not bad he will be able to score against toughness type goalkeepers and we all know who is the toughness type one of the most used goalkeepers there so yeah you can try it if you have if you are out of the matchup and uh you know you if you trap the ball you're gonna be matched up with defender just go with the overhead and or volley because that's that that, that is a nice power after all and he has a color advantage over uh you know Genzo, so he will be able to score especially with his main shoot with 510 that's 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 really nice 88 with color advantage is perfect so uh i mean what can i say the downside of uh his shoots is that they don't have blowaways uh like uh, that that 510 shoot from his dc has a uh, no distance dk right so if he does have that that's <laughs> that's ridiculously good uh, this guy all in all I, li I like him you know I like the characters that have you know goalkeeper killer and inside master they're very diverse and stuff I mean you know he's not like a character that that in Santana you know Santana you just pass him the ball against the defender and just whatever like you know, like if you have a color advantage he's gonna win the matchup most of the time even if you guess wrongly so this, this is what gives Santana like a much more powerful power as a uh, forward. This Santana is excellent, you know, I always say that. Roberto is excellent too, because he can be used as an attacking midfielder forward that gives 
your team a huge diversity and he will not be that attacky midfield that's gonna be a, gonna, a hole you know he's gonna be a attacky midfield that can actually defend like auto intercept 100 percent he is i i prefer i would prefer to use this guy as a central attacking midfield just because of that 100 percent auto intercept in the hands you know full power gauge up of course if you guess the right thing you know you will win a matchup 100 and your full power gauge will rise but so obviously this guy is awesome i, li I love roberto man. roberto looks excellent nice okay let's talk about the Ooh. Oh, characters that got hidden ability updates, Levin and Robin, Levin and Mueller. First, let's talk about Levin. Okay, obviously, first of all, this is a limb break. I would do it at the start because, you know, whatever. Just go with Pounder Break 4 and limb break everything <laughs> except block. And, and, and you're good. You know, you're good to go with this guy because he's one of the most diverse characters in the game. So... You know, team skill, whatever for, for Dreamfest character. So, Elite Elemental as a as a passive, so 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 he starts to rise by fifteen percent during full power football. Special skills are new. Special skills are whatever, absolutely whatever. This is just gonna be a downside for him because this is a huge downside actually, because that that shoot is one of the weakest shoots in the game right now, in the meta that that the shoot will not not hurt anyone you know um so it kind of sucks he has that shoot there and you cannot actually give him you know uh multiple skills on everything and stuff like that but he has a skill block cancel so he'll cancel up to two special skill blocks used against him so i guess you're good <laughs> so we have a bond with two or more toughness type non-japanese players that gives everyone four percent 1.5 percent shield which is nice i mean skill block cancel uh what the fuck did i do one skill killer so he has a 10 percent boost against skill type players and 80 percent chance to activate special skill during automatic interception which is of course one of the most valuable uh hidden skills or passives character can have at the attacking mid or defensive mid position so this guy is a raw guy so against everyone else but skill type players out full power football good dribbler good passer so if you guess the right thing like most of the time like you will be successful tackle and intercept not so much uh, you know uh, of course that's like every character has a downside right so whatever so basically you know what let me let me just do this you know what i'll just do this and do it instantly okay instant <laughs> that was fast right so uh you know skill killer against skill type players out of full power football he is a dribbler good passer uh 50, 65 69 nothing like overpowering rate uh but still if you can like and you might even you know go against some skill types not not so good characters uh, defensively or go over them uh tackle intercept 58.2 and 63 that's not like oh my god that's great but it is still good uh we have uh you know short is 80 with his dragon's roar which he needs shio and uh, neither of that's nothing like special of course in full power football he's just going on a whole another level with that shoot but uh uh in pale to the metal so in a full power football like almost the same as any is against every skill type but uh against every character that is not skill type he is an 84.6k shooter so that's not really bad uh with his dragon's roar 68 dribbler good good pass good one two uh, Good tackle and good intercept so yeah he's gonna represent a problem <coughs> in full power football excuse me um uh, in full power football against skill type he is a bully he has a great dribbler great he's he's he has a great dribble a great pass i mean one of the best passes in the game with 78.5 so if you're in full power football just pass to this guy 
go over any skill type, just with one tool, especially one tool, just spam that shit. You're good to go. Um, 66.2 and 71 spectacular intercept, which is extremely well. And we have on the shot like volley and, and overhead, like it's good, but forget about that shit. So we have uh, Kalusias. Kalusias is a ground shoot killer, so that might not be the best thing, but still, Dragon's Roar is this number is just powerful enough so you can actually hurt him. Not because uh, he has color advantage, because obviously, uh, you know, Kalusias has uh, color ignore. Or whatever so but this guy is a, is a skill type killer so he is a 92k shooter and you saw pierre has a high chance of actually scoring against calusius on ground shoot just because of his power so we have this guy that is not as strong as pierre there but is close to that numbers with his boost boosts so really nice you know um uh, obviously, I would not use this guy as a shooter, but you know, you can give him that shoot. On a, I mean, you can give him that uh, destructive uh, five blowways thingy. It's gonna be really, really nice. <laughs> so you don't have to give him dragons or just give him that that time attack shoot, and you're gonna be just. Uh, I mean, all in all, as a character that sucked uh when he got hidden ability as a character that sucked uh before he got hidden ability uh right now he's usable he's usable he uh, gives your your team a couple of shields skill block cancel is really nice today with a lot of blockers uh and uh auto interest in the hands 80 percent uh he's not a player that's gonna be like overpowering but he can help the team especially if you don't have like anyone strong as that options you 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 have characters today that overcome this power so yeah of course uh but as a character that you just found yourself having him and he's actually usable yeah he can be used in the theme in the meta team uh, uh you know to fill up the spots easily um really nice nothing like Oh my god, that he is broken, but nice character. Really good. Levin is good now. Usable. Let's talk about the German Goira everyone has been waiting for. Let's talk about Müller. So this guy was originally, let me remind you, a super dream fest character that we waited for months. Uh, at that time, I remember Mueller wasn't released for a long time. Like we didn't have a good Mueller for like one year or something. And then this guy came, and we were like, "Oh my God, are you kidding me, man? This is like one of the worst goalkeepers ever. Like nobody used the guy as soon as he got released, and he's a super dream fest keeper. I mean, that was such a flop. That was, I mean, club just fucking. Oh, I hated club for that, and I hate club for this still, but. First, let's talk about it. He's not so bad. So, uh, of course, team skill, whatever. And he has a safety zone as he had before. So, that 15% shoots outside of the penalty area. Still giant, with, with, which is one of, the, uh, one of the most stamina efficient saves in the game. And double hammer for 40, which is nice. Whatever. He's, uh, don't, don't, don't go with blocks. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Hidden skills are bond with two or more agility type no Japanese players that gives everyone 3.0% and he's a 3% shielder so like this is nothing special we saw this kind of hidden abilities like uh, actually nine months ago at the anniversary of the over the summer so this is not something like, oh my god, that's great. I mean, if he got like 4%, 4% like Toram, awesome. But it's like 3.5 plus 3%. That's, I mean, that's nice, but it's not something like so great. Forward killer, so he, he gets a boost of 7% against forwards. Big uh, shoot, she said. Shoot killer, non so against non-flying shots he gets 8%, that's not so big, that's what she said. And Tenacity can use a special skill with normal force if stamina is 1 or higher. 
So basically this means that this guy will, as a keeper, you cannot just train him. This guy is perfect against noobs who just spam shoots. And there's a lot of that players in the game today because most of the players that actually know how to do something left the game. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> GG club so we have uh, you know a character that has a uh, raw power of PK that is not good being agility type goalkeeper with you guys running around that basically means that you just pass the Hugo in the air shoot and you're done you'll score against this guy easily on a high or low shoot with Hugo like nothing you know as an agility type goalkeeper uh you know i mean i'm, I'm just gonna say like yamada a blue goalkeeper that was at least like a couple of days ago i will repeat yamada the fucking hot lips guy is actually stronger than this guy are you serious yamada the the hot lips is stronger than a fucking German gorilla. Super driven fast goalkeeper. Oh, okay. So against forwards, he is 86.4. Nothing like overpowering rate. So against Yuga, yeah, he's not gonna be 80, he's gonna be 86.4. Still, Yuga has color advantage, so yeah, uh, ground shoot 87 and forwards ground shoot 92.9. That's you know, I mean, that's not bad, you know, that's not numbers that are bad, you know, but still, uh, you know, like nine or ten months ago, there was anniversary keepers that all around had like with passive active 90 and with passive D active like 80 a power. So this is not like something out of the ordinary, especially considering like this guy is a super dream fest German fucking gorilla. Uh, so he should have been obviously stronger. Uh, safety zone, uh, uh, you know, for, of course, as a safety zone, this is added uh, not only safety zone, but as a ground shoot killer because uh, every safety zone shoot is a ground shoot. So. Basically, it's gonna be almost impossible to score against this guy out of the box and uh, versus forwards, safety zone is 105. So it's just gonna be easy, easy for him. This is good, you know. He's, he's, he's gonna be a keeper that's gonna be like one of the best keepers that you can use against noobs and shoot spammers. You know, of course, if you have a unpenetrable defense with a lot of great broken defenders this guy can actually be of use to you you know but if you don't uh, use that in like I, I mean if you use like a formation with four defenders and two defensive midfielders yeah i can i can see how can you actually use this guy and have a huge success you know because he's not bad you know he's uh, with safety zone he's excellent Tenacity on top of that basically means that he will not be a keeper that you can just spam shots and train him, you know? So you can use this guy like all over the game. All, all, like the whole game is gonna, gonna be drained, which is great for a goalkeeper. But uh this is this is this is where he, you know, whatever. Uh we have like uh that that, that green Misaki Green Fest character he's not used like really often but um like we have Tsubasa the the, the green super green fast Tsubasa who sucks you know but he's still gonna be easily easy score against this guy you know uh there there's there's a couple of players I actually uh talked to myself like I said like okay so this guy this guy is easy to beat but there's only like a couple of skill type shooters that can actually, you know, uh, attacking midfielders today that can that, that that can beat him. So 
is a color advantage uh, against this goalkeeper with 80k, yeah, of course. Uh, you don't have to be a knocker to beat this guy as a skill type attacking mid. Seriously. Uh, even 87 is not something to be afraid of. So... Ah, uh, yeah. What can I say? In a defense with four defenders, absolutely all four of them are broken with auto intercepts and I don't know what. Two defensive midfielders with auto intercepts, totally broken defensive midfielders. <laughs> yeah, sure, this guy is great, but out of those teams with like crazy broken defenders, crazy broken defensive midfielders, like I, and I'm, I'm talking about bullies. I'm not talking about you. I don't guess the right shit and stuff like that, like. Skill blockers against Inter Inside Meister, yes, but against you know, uh, you know, don't don't kill. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know. Uh, when I when I saw that this guy is gonna get hidden ability, I I got a boner and my boner is ruined again. Uh, for I don't know, the club ruined my boner so many times. You know, it just got to that point that I don't expect ever. Like as as soon as I see something right now, I'm like 50-50. I got excited and then I get like, oh my god, it's gonna suck, right? So, uh, sure, it's usable. That's basically it. So if you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, fuck it. Uh, write in the comments down below what do you think about this video okay so guys thank you so much for watching hope i helped if i did you know give me some money and that's it uh have a great rest of your day today i will stream fifa today i will stream fifa as you know uh i want to stream kids watch the dream team too but i'm gonna do that tomorrow and uh, i'm gonna showcase a team with probably all around limit breaks for and showcase that new numbers they actually can achieve in those teams so i'm actually excited about that uh you know <laughs> uh, a good thing is that update somewhat like um made that chinese accounts less valuable but still we'll see we'll see uh, I expect not to see not, not to see a lot of re-rollers because it's gonna be I mean you can you can you can use that team, you know, with just do a goalkeeper, main scorer and main defender, that's it. And do boundary break four. Just go with that. But um Yeah, it that actually helped a lot to fight against like as a as an old timer like me with an account that is all like five years i have a lot of dupes i have over like 500 dupes in account so i actually like did all of my team with boundary for so that's excellent <laughs> and i played a couple of pps i played like three or four after i did it just to test it and i won all four easy because I was matched up uh, against uh, China accounts with only goalkeeper and forwards. So, you you know, obviously you will dominate against those teams, uh, you know, if you have like all boundary break four. That is kind of uh, one other thing that, that, that gives, you know, a lot of value to Levin. Because, you know, I, I mean, I had like five of these guys, so he was easy to... So... Uh, Mueller, you know what, I would rather boundary break uh, the other red one Mueller because him with boundary break 4 can do some damage, especially when you consider that, uh, you know, he scales up really ridiculously with full, full body stand, so, I mean, yeah, that's it, see you guys later on today.